Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSA ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about public lectures. So, coming to the overview of this presentation, so this video covers what is a public lecture and what are the different characteristics of public lecture. So, here we are talking about public ledger regarding blockchain concept. So, what is a public ledger in, in terms of blockchain? So, public ledger in blockchain refers to the transparent decentralized records of transactions that are accessible to anyone on the network. So, because of this feature, you are calling it as public. So, anyone can access this, anyone can see the content of this blockchain. So, that is why you are calling it as public. We know the ledger. So, generally we have traditional term called ledger. So, what do you mean by ledger? Ledger is nothing but record of transactions. So, set of transactions or set of records you are calling as ledger. But why you are calling it as a public ledger? It is maintaining set of transactions or records but that are open to everyone. Anyone can read the transactions here and we know the blockchain features, these are all transparent and decentralized. Transparent in the sense anyone can see the content and decentralized in the sense there is no central authority to monitor this. So, and it is also distributed. That means, if I have four nodes in my network, each node will uh, maintain a copy of the ledger. So, this is nothing but distributed. So, as it is following blockchain technology, by default, it will be decentralized, distributed and transparent also. So, transparent in the sense anyone can see the content, decentralized, there is no central authority here and distributed in the sense each and every node will contain the uh, copy of the ledger. So, why we are calling it as public in the sense it is transparent, anyone can see, see it and anyone can access it. So, these are uh, the ledgers maintained by the distributed network of nodes. See, distributed network of nodes. So, this is actually a network, right? So, here we have four nodes and each node will contain, will maintain this ledger copy. So, network of nodes distributed, distributed in the sense the copy will be maintained, distributed throughout the network. So, what is the main aim of this? The main aim of this is transparency, security, immutability of blockchain systems. So, by, by maintaining this type of uh, records, public ledgers, what you are going to attain here, we can get in transparency. That means, these are all public ledgers. So, everyone can access it. Everyone can see the content and security. So, we know no one can modify the content of the blockchain. So, as the blockchains are immutable. So, all these ledgers, all these records, all these transactions which you are storing on the blockchain are immutable transactions. That means, once you uh, deploy the transaction onto the blockchain, that cannot be modified later. So, that feature is called immutable. So, because of this feature, you can provide the security. So, what are the different characteristics of public ledger? So, just now we have seen the definition of public ledger. So, ledger is nothing but a set of transactions or records which are transparent distributed and decentralized the, that you are calling as public ledger. So, as it is following uh, a blockchain technology, obviously uh, some of the blockchain concepts or blockchain characteristics will be applied to public ledger also. So, the first characteristics is decentralized. So, these are all decentralized. There is no central authority, there is no uh, person to control these transactions. So, public ledgers are decentralized. What is the meaning of it? They are not controlled by a single entity or authority. So, we do not have a single entity here to monitor this or to maintain this, but instead of that you are maintaining uh, the copy of this ledger at each and every node which are available in the network. And next is transparency. So, we know the uh, content of this ledger, the transactions of this ledger are open. Anyone can access this, anyone can see the content. So, that is why it has a feature called transparency and immutability. So, we know just now we discussed uh, in the blockchain, if I deploy or if I insert or if I include any transaction, we cannot modify that transa transaction later. So, that feature is called immutability. So, in the ledger, public ledger, whatever the transactions you are writing, so that is fixed, that is immutable. So, once if you upload it into this ledger, you cannot modify it later. And consensus mechanism, as it is following public ledger is a concept of blockchain, it is also follow the consensus mechanism. As there is no general authority to, to uh, monitor these transactions or to verify these transactions, we are following a mechanism called consensus mechanism to provide the validity of the transaction. So, before including into this public ledger, we need to verif verify the transaction, whether the transactions are valid or not. So, to perform that validation, you are using a mechanism called consensus mechanism. 
सो वी हैव सो मेनी कंसेंसस मैकेनिज्म फॉर बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ आवर ब्लॉकचेन वी कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दिस कंसेंसस मैकेनिज्म सो सम ऑफ द मैकेनिज्म्स आर प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क proof of stake delegated proof of stake so later on uh, in the future videos we will discuss in depth of about this consensus mechanisms and next is open access so as the name itself it is telling it is public ledger so it is open access anyone can access the content of it but they cannot modify it they can only access the content of this public ledger but they cannot modify it so next is cryptographic security so public ledgers use cryptographic techniques to secure the transactions and control access so here we are using hashing technique to provide the hash code for each and every block as we dis discussed in the previous uh, video so we are using sha256 algorithm to provide the security but along with that we are also using private and public keys used to sign the transactions and ensuring that only the rightful owner can authorize and initiate the transfer so generally this will be used with the uh, digital wallet or digital money digital cryptocurrency right so whenever you may be maintaining a cryptocurrency then you need to maintain this cryptocurrency in a wallet so if i want to send some currency to another person i need to i need to be a uh, authorized person so how i can tell i am authorized person so i should know the private key and public key of that wallet so each and every wallet will maintain public key and private key so through that you can provide the security only the authorized persons can transfer the, transfer the uh, amount and only authorized person can verify the amount so that is the use of the cryptographic security so not only this public and private keys we are also using sha256 algorithm to provide by the secure hashing mechanism so that is about public ledger so in this video we have discussed about what is public ledger and what are the different characteristics of public ledger thank you